What is a HDMI splitter and why do you need one? This is one version of a HDMI splitter. You basically have one HDMI on one side, you have two HDMIs on the other side, female, which allow you to plug in HDMI cables into here. Why would you want to do something like that? Well, a lot of people normally want to play games on a console and plug in this to their computer to record their gameplay. But what normally happens is if you put a direct cable in, it's not going to be great because you're going to have a slight delay. So the main goal of this is you plug one into your computer to record, you plug another one into a monitor which you look at so you don't get delays. So that's why it comes in handy. This is one type you can get. There are a few types in these available. Here's another one. And this one's slightly different. It's like a little box. But the good thing about this is if you already have HDMI cables, you simply plug one in here, you can have a longer cable as opposed to trying to get an extension for that because that's just one length obviously there. So you need to get an extension here. Same concept, two HDMIs there, one HDMI here. However, this type of one will need power. So what do you mean by power? You'll see there's got a USB. So you will actually need to plug in a little USB here, plug that into a USB socket to get power and then have a HDMI. So technically, if you're going over a longer distance, you might have to have a longer USB cable to power this box up. So that's why that wasn't the best one, I didn't think, for what I'm using. I'm looking to live stream with cameras and get a separate monitor to see the full view. So maybe that one would work better for me. How that basically works is, here's one end of it. You get a HDMI capture card, which turns the HDMI into a USB. That USB plugs into your computer and you've got two slots here. Now remember the journey of this cable. That is gonna be an input. You'll see here it says input, just there. So that input there will go into your computer via H uh, USB. You are able to put two devices into it. So this is gonna be interesting because I want to put in a TV signal and a camera signal so that might not be the best way of doing this because my tv will need to be an output which basically flips around to being this scenario so input and two outputs so the camera in fact needs to go into the input so let me set this up so you can see and follow me so let me show you an example of this so you can actually follow along <laughs> 